Good afternoon YouTube, Captain Darren here and 4VFR is my call sign. Today I have received my new antenna tuner. It's the Palstar AT2K. Here we are. Let's open this bad boy up. I am so excited to use this antenna tuner. A lot of popcorn, makes a mess, get the shack. Here it is, huh? This is brand new. I was looking all over the place, HRO, um, DX Engineering, and other uh, ham radio outlet stores. And the only place that had it in stock was RNL. So kudos to RNL for having it in stock. Okay, now it's time to take off the plastic wrap, the cellophane. It's really simple here. All they have is the, uh, the DC power adapter, a couple screws, and a, uh, a manual. There she is, brand spanking new, Palstar AT2K. All right, this is the back of the Palstar AT2K. And we have a couple of uh, feed points or inputs. On the top there is the uh, RF uh, input either from your transmitter or from your amplifier and you have two inputs for coax. Coax 1 and coax 2. Those are for the um, utilizing the, the antenna tuner and you can connect two different types of antenna. If you have an antenna that doesn't need a tuner, you have a bypass option there. Uh, the coaxial connector for an output to a dummy load, or you can use the uh, this output bypasses the tuner. And they also say that the meter circuits are are also on if you have the AC adapter connected to the rear panel, and that's the input the 12 volt DC in. This, this in, uh, coax uh, input, or actually uh, antenna, it's the balance wire. And you use this connector to connect an optional external, either a 1 to 1 or a 4 to 1 balance for a balance or a, uh, what do you call it, feed wire antenna. And your chassis ground. The specs on this uh, antenna tuner. It can handle a power of 2,000 watts PEP on sideband or 1,500 watts on uh, single tone. And it operates either from 6 meters all the way to 160 meters. And you have two uh, variable capacitors and the dual needle cross needle uh, meter. I'm going to try to tune this Palstar AT2K with my 05 antenna. I'm on 40 meters. The frequency is clear. I'm using the lowest power setting, 5 watts. And um, I set the input capacitor and the output capacitor to both 50-50%. The inductor, I'm just going to start off at 000. It doesn't mean anything. It just gives you a reference point. Uh, so you can write it down for faster tuning. So let's give it a shot. SWR is high. What I'm looking for is a dip. A 
There's a dip there, right about there. Adjust the input capacitor and the output capacitor at the same time. That's the way of 1.5. I'm going to play with the inductor just a little bit. SWR is a 1.2 right there. Inductor is pretty much flat. So take a look at the SWR. Pretty flat. Alright, now let's try to increase the power. That's 5 watts. Let's say 100 watts. 100 watts and let's take a look at the SWR SWR is pretty flat on the meter and let me zoom in onto the PAL stars SWR okay 100 watts that's showing like 95 watts with SWR is 1 to 1. Okay, I'm going to increase power now to 200 watts. The radio I'm using is the um, Yaesu FTDX 101 MP. So I can run up to 200 watts on this radio. Alright, so here we go, 200 watts. SWR rose a little bit. I can tweak it in there. SWR is flat. 200 watts and flat. And look at the radio. 200 watts and SWR is flat. Well, that's my unboxing and testing of the Palstar AT2K. And it's really easy to tune. I love it. And I'll be using this along with my OM2000 Plus linear amplifier once I get that. Thank you for watching. Please consider to subscribe and click the like button and leave a comment to whether you like it or if you don't like it or if you plan on getting one. This is N4 VFR Captain Darren signing off. Have a good day.